Okay. By the way, my name's Joe. I live in the country. Living on on four acres. Hopefully one day I'll have more land because I want more animals. Fence in the garden because the chickens. Free range around. They're just right back there. Can't get my phone to focus at all. So in this garden. It's, oh my gosh, leave me alone. In this garden, it's 60 feet long. 64 feet long and 60 and 16 feet wide. Acorn squash right here. Not doing well at all. Needs a lot of that. Some Brussels sprouts, peppers. I need to do a good weeding. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is bad. And this, these are just volunteered squash. My zucchini plant. I believe it has a zucchini on it. Yeah. I can actually pick that now. You don't want them getting too big because then you start getting woody and disgusting. So, my oregano, I have already trimmed it back twice. These are two plants. They're tiny last year, but now they're huge. Oh my goodness. They're like two feet high. This oregano plant, it wasn't doing good this year and last year, so I'm letting it go to seed this year. Lay it flower so I can feed the wildlife, the pollinators. And now the volunteer squash. I should just pull this. I'm just too nice. Um, Brussels sprouts. These Brussels sprouts should be coming on really soon. Brussels sprouts. And then more squash that I just let grow. Stupid me. Whatever. Oh, a watermelon I didn't plant, so must be doing well. One of my peppers, green beans. They're actually starting to flower again. I keep picking off all the green beans and eating them because I don't want them going to seed yet. A tomato plant that I didn't plant, it just appeared. And it's doing really well, actually, over here. Mm. Basil sucks this year. I Next year, if I do it, I'm going to do them in little planters I have. So my, this is supposed to be my potato patch. Don't mind Hooter. Hooter's on the job. My pepper patch, sorry. And it now became into squash, potato, and pepper. Hopefully they live garden. Sorry, Hooter. Um, the peppers are doing really well. I trimmed back some of the leaves of the squash so it doesn't cover the peppers. Because I kind of want the peppers. Because I love peppers. Peppers raw with some dip. It's just fantastic. Zinnia is doing amazing. It's like, oh my goodness. Just bring the pollinators in for more. Which I'm okay with. And I believe I have an acorn squash. Oh, here we go. And then there's another one in here somewhere, which might be a lost cause for me finding because it's like a jungle. Watermelon's doing okay, which is doing better. Moving along, I have a marigold patch. Since how much I love marigolds, it's only. August, so still have a lot of time for them to flower. These are sunflowers, and they're actually going to flower soon. I um, I had tons of seeds, and I just wanted to get rid of them. Oh, here's the acorn squash. It looks fantastic. So I'll have an acorn squash for Thanksgiving this year. Yes. Cucumbers are doing really good, actually. I'm surprised. Okay, my these are my strawberries, and they were fantastic. 
in the ring season. I picked them all and well, the ones I wanted I picked and other ones I left for the wildlife. So, oh my god, another zucchini. And this is what happens when you have a food forest. You find little treasures. The zucchini will be so seedy inside of it that, I don't know, but I'll still try and eat it. I'm just going to put it on the other side of the fence. Chickens are nearby, and if they peck at it and tear it open, I'm okay with that. Because I already have, like, oh my god. I have two zucchinis in there, inside the house already. Sorry for me sniffling, I have allergies to something out here. And that one be full of seeds as well. And I'm trying not to put the seeds in the composter. Since. I swear that's how I keep. Getting more and more zucchini plants each year. P.S. I, I usually am very organized with my gardens. But this year I'm just not. My tomato plant patch is doing great. They have fungus or something on them. I don't know what. They have tons of breathing room over here. Ram watermelon plant. Look at those. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to eat them. Mm. Oh my gosh. So my zucchini patch came into my tomato patch. I should have stopped it, but I can't now. Like, look at them. Actually, that's an, that's an acorn squash right there. Wow. I'm okay with that. Ah, stupid bugs. Actually, that looks like a chickmunk. <sighs> I hate those chickmunks. If anyone has an idea that's humane and I don't have to do anything to get rid of chickmunks, please let me know. So another zucchini plant, and I planted, I planted some um, potatoes, red potatoes over here. I usually always do Russell's potatoes, but I did some of these when my aunt gave me them, the red potatoes. I don't know what they're called. So now we're going over here. Oh God, that, that just took over that whole container. No wonder. Oh my goodness. Tomato is still thriving really nicely. Oh, this one's doing fantastic. I'm trying to get seeds from it this year. It's... My friend gave me this from nursing school. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm a nursing student right now. So, oh, my MOBA plant is doing fantastic. Like, that just looks amazing. I was looking into getting a farm this year, but because I'm in school, the bank says, wait until you're done school. I have to wait until I'm done school. Oh my god, there's another zucchini. I'm actually going to pick that before I lose track of it and it goes like rock solid. Oh my gosh, this won't be pretty. Oh, okay, nothing happened. Good. If something did, I would just feed it to the chickens. <laughs> and soon on my little homestead, I'm getting some ducks. Oh my gosh, there's another freaking zucchini. Pardon my French people. I need to do some good weeding in here. I think that's what I'm going to just leave. Uh, yeah, I should make it actually. There's so many, oh my gosh, so many flies in here. There, another beautiful zucchini. 
There's that's four so far. Oh my goodness, another one. Five. Oh my god. Another one. Holy be a hybrid. So these seeds were from my composter. Or from a package. So they're probably a hybrid or something. But I've used them for the making chocolate zucchini bread and they're so fantastic. I think they're zucchini slash um, another type of squash. Mm -hmm. So that acorn squash is growing over the fence. So what happens, whatever happens to it on the other side, I can't help it. I'm probably going to move it over. Oh my god, another zucchini. This food force. Without stepping on anything. Holy crap. I'm going to the family's this in a few days. The cabin, the cottage, sorry. Zucchini. Another freaking zucchini. It's hard for my language. Just, there just wasn't any zucchini like a few days ago. Now there's a crap ton. So anyone who grows zucchini, did your zucchini do that? You don't even know it's growing anything, and it, it's grown 15 or 20 zucchinis. Anyways, um, I'm standing in my carrot bed. It's, they're doing terrible this year. No problems with bugs, and you can see how much I have to weed. Look at that, I'm like, oh. Thank God I have chickens to row a tail and everything. So here's... In the fall. Here's my pump my potatoes. I have pumpkins in my brother's place and I thought that'd be a good idea, but no. Ugh. No sun there basically. So here's my beets. And some more zucchinis probably. I went down something. Ate that. Ate that. The fence keeps out the chickens, but doesn't keep out other nasty animals. Alright. Well, it keeps up the chickens for now. Sunflowers. Here's my first sunflower. Wish I could take a picture of that right now. It's beautiful. After this video, I will. So, potatoes. This is my beet, my beet garden. So, there's Tons and tons of beets everywhere. Oh my god, that one's fast too. I'm gonna leave it because I when I pick one, I need to pick like 15 because when my brother and everyone's together, we eat them like crazy. And somehow whatever I leave them for so long they get huge little beets start growing around it. I don't know, maybe that's just my luck. This is my um, lettuce bed. Oh, I forgot to say that there was romaine lettuce over there. This is my leaf lettuce bed and it's doing great. It's like, it's August and it's still doing well, which I'm surprised. Plant some more pumpkin, some more potatoes here. Apparently I wanted pumpkins in this garden this year. I guess I keep saying it. So, ew. Another zucchini. I'm gonna be all zucchinied out soon. These are peppers from my friend. You can see one's a jalapeno for sure. This one right here. Let's see if I'll zoom in on it. Focus. There. That's a zucchini. That's a jalapeno. Oh yeah, it smells like one in my hands. There's nice um 
That's my rosemary, thyme. This is sage. I told you about the oregano. I need a weed in here. I need to get the hoe in here. Oh god. So that's the whole garden inside. Oh my goodness. Oh, I know where I knew that. That's zucchini. Okay. So let me put the fence up. Oh, I hate this fence. I need to make a new fence. So this is the failure part. Potatoes were here, but they went somewhere. I don't know where they went to. The plants are dying off. My peas were supposed to be here, but rats got to them. Hooter's not doing his job this year, apparently. So when I started free range, when I got the birds and started free ranging, I just was like, I don't care, just eat them. And I pulled out the two rows of fencing, and I put the fencing just right here, just to make sure the chickens don't go in the garden. Garden. I'll move over to the potato bed. The potato bed is smaller, but it still has a, a lot of fruit in it. So this is more potato. This is potatoes. These are the red potatoes. These are Russell's. Russell potatoes. I don't weed in here because the chickens come in here all the time and weed and something's eating it. Gosh, something's eating my son. It's not the chickens. It doesn't look like what they how they eat. Some potatoes. These are Russell potatoes and then I have some didn't plant these, but they have some um poppies growing. And I'm getting tons and tons of seeds this year. There's quite a few seeds, poppies that go in the seed. I think there's like over 20 packages of seeds I can maybe get from them. Like these are coming close. You can always tell they're ready when you can hear a little rustling when you shake the, the head of, the, of it. So this is maybe 16 by eight vegetable well, potato I have a I have a melon here um oh gosh um, cantaloupe thank you and we have I have some this is my oh god I can't remember that name for the right name Else it. I can't remember it, sorry. But any gardeners watching this will know what that is right away. And chickens went somewhere. Because I did not see them. Eh, they're fine. In the garden. Let's actually check my zucchinis we have today. Oh my goodness. One. This one is a perfect zucchini. Actually, it's from one of the ones I planted, so I know it's full. Full. It's actually zucchini, just zucchini. So scary. <coughs> this. <coughs> Bless me. Oh my goodness! There's an acorn squash right there growing. Score. There's two, six, seven, eight. There's eight zucchinis today. So I guess it's going to be in the kitchen making zucchini bread. Oh, I see one of the chickens right there. The rooster I'm going to keep. So I'm going to have chicks next year. And I'll probably have Broody Mama in my garden shed. 
to remove her carefully. Well, that's it.